today we're here at the Delaware Bay learning about horseshoe crabs and shorebirds. Delaware Bay is almost like the most important gas station on the interstate when you're running out of gas for shorebirds. They come to Delaware Bay every spring during the month of May to feed on horseshoe crab eggs as they prepare to migrate north to the breeding grounds. Horseshoe crabs, their eggs are really important for red knots, which are a federally threatened uh, species of shorebird. We're not seeing an increase in the red knot population, so that's cause for concern. And a big part of that is horseshoe crab egg density. Horseshoe crabs are used for bait to catch other marine organisms like American eel and uh, two species of whelk, which is a kind of sea snail. Those species are, are imperiled at this point and American eels are actually being considered for listing under the Endangered Species Act. And so we've been battling with the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission to really stop the harvest of horseshoe crabs because they're being used to catch marine organisms that are already imperiled. And the other important role that horseshoe crabs play is, is in the biomedical and human health industry. The blood of horseshoe crabs are incredibly sensitive to bacteria, and so any injectable drug, any delivery system that, that brings fluids and medicines to uh, in turn to the human body is tested with horseshoe crab blood. These are really important tests. Humans depend on safe medical devices, safe injectable drugs, but there is synthetic alternatives to horseshoe crab blood that are very effective. So we want to make sure that pharmaceutical companies are able to use these synthetic tests benefiting conservation as well as human health. Our other ask focuses on red knot recovery. So making sure that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has the adequate resources to aid the red knot recovery efforts. We understand that the recovery will be slow, but we like to see indications that it's moving in the right direction. And that's all I can really hope for at this point. And I hope I get the chance to see full recovery.